Alright, so you guys have been asking me how I can do double uploads a day um, and my answer is quarantine and a lot of coke. Now, um, today we're gonna be looking at pistols in Valorant and if you're new be sure to hit that subscribe button because we're booming right now. We hit 100k views which is just fucking amazing, okay? Um, now I'm gonna be looking at the best pistols so you don't spawn and just die instantly by getting headshotted. And I hope this will seriously help you. Now we're gonna start with each pistol on its own. So I have my aim sensitivity right here on 0.65. Um, and what we can see here is I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna start with a classic now the classic isn't that great, right? Um, it can't kill enemies that fast, but for example, you can buy a light shield and light shield is a determiner in the pistol rounds That's right uh, the, the light shield can actually help you save lives and the thing is when you buy a light shield you can for example also buy your abilities so example here I have cypher and when I buy a light shield I can also buy one trap wire and one cyber cage that will help me plant a lot easier now I'm gonna go over each specific weapon and I'm gonna tell you how it is so let's say for example I choose you know any of these weapons for example if I choose sheriff or ghost I can't buy a light shield even if I choose frenzy I can't buy a light shield now the shorty the shorty is supposed to be one of the OP weapons right look at the damage it does whoa it's already fucking dead look another guys oh 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 but look at this if it's close if it's close um, they keep running it out, but if the gun is close, it's an insta-kill. But in what situations in pistol round are you gonna be like super close? Are you gonna be rushing like in a balcony and then like gonna co come up to cl close to him without him shooting you? No, I pretty much doubt it. So the actual idea of a short in-game, I get them, they wanna induce variety in Valorant, right? They don't wanna have only pistols in pistol rounds, they wanna have small tier shotguns. I'm just gonna set so these guys don't move so much because I think it really distracts you, right? Oh, wait, give me a sec. Here we go. You're not gonna strafe anymore. But seriously, this gun, it goes in the trash bin. It's not that good. Even the classic is better than this gun. Then we have the frenzy. Now the frenzy is pretty nice, right? You can like one tap, you can fire super fast. But look, look what happens if I spray now. Okay, so the spray is pretty much okay. It has 13 bullets. Um, the thing is, this is just a classic with more fire rounds per second, so it does kind of the same damage if you look at it here, look, um, and it has a very, very low wall penetration, which I really hate about this gun. This gun is just about a faster classic, and why would you buy this? when you can buy, for example, a ghost for 500, and we'll get to the ghost later. So this, the shorty and the frenzy, the frenzy is only actually good when you're like rushing and spraying and praying or trying to make a serious distraction. But then again, the frenzy is not really good unless you're buying like some abilities, um, or, or in that example, if you're buying a frenzy and light shields. Um, so this this gun can be really OP, but then for example, you can just use the classic and I would rather buy some abilities on the first round to actually get that easy plant than actually using Frenzy as competitive. And I don't see Frenzy getting a lot of plays. Maybe um, in competitive and esports, it's not, it's it's okay, don't get me wrong, but it's not good for pistol rounds. Um, the starter pistols are something completely different in that manner. Um, now that we got out of that out of the way, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this somewhere here with fire behind. Um, it's still better than the shorty. You don't want the shorty, but we're gonna throw these two right here behind. Now this one is my personal favorite. You can see here wall penetration is medium and magazine capacity is 15. So that's three more bullets than the classic. Now what you can do is you can buy light shields when you're buying a ghost. Um, it fires about the same as a classic, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Um, it fires at an amazing rate, um, but the thing is, uh, it can like two tap enemies in my opinion, oh never mind, um, if it's to 30 meters a headshot will be an insta kill if they don't have armor, which is amazing. Um, now 30 to 50 meters it's body to 25, 
so four shots without their armor and uh, 88 to the head and 21 to the leg and I think that's pretty much amazing it fires as fast as a pistol it's basically a stronger pistol right so if we compare this to the pistol um, the only difference is this has three more bullets and the wall penetration is here it's low on the classic and here it's medium um, and the thing is um, it does a bit more damage look at how much more damage it does at the actual hat shot and this could be a game changer now the classic has another example that the ghost doesn't have i forgot to mention it's the three tap but the three tap is like a short shotgun and i it's like i don't know i think it's better like just three times quick tapping um for example if let's say uh, i'm uh, very stressed out and i miss the situation i'm gonna only hit them for you know like when i'm gonna press the right button it's only gonna uh not actually hit them so uh, in my example, I just use the left click and, you know, be a pro aimer like that. But going back to the ghost, the ghost is kind of a unique thing and the, also its silencer could be huge, especially if you're some sort of player as a cypher or anything that's more stealth. For example, Sova can get our information or you can easily, you know, hide yourself. For example, let's say I'm behind the enemy's lines, right? I kill someone and the enemy won't know where I shot from. And information is key in this game, which I find pretty much amazing. Um, now the thing is, um, there's a huge issue with Ghost, okay? You can't buy light shields on the first round. It's really good when actually going for those um, gun rounds, like when you don't have enough cash and just buying a heavy shield or a light shield or saving or whatever. Um, it's really great for getting that first kill, you know, two tapping someone, like one to the head with um, armor enabled. So let me say, for example, I enable bot armor here, right? Um, I headshot him in the head and I headshot him in the body twice. And that basically kills him off, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. That's some great aspects. The next thing I wanted to talk about is this gun actually, you know, being good on pistol rounds. In my opinion, it could be if they don't have armor. So for example, this is them if they have armor, right? And they're gonna hit a few shots at me. And if I shoot them back, I have to shoot them twice. But now, if they are on pistol rounds and without armor because they're idiots, this is what's gonna happen. They're gonna be on the site and you're just gonna shoot them around and want at them. And that's what I really find amazing about Ghost. Now, the thing is, you are really at a big disadvantage without the shields. Now, we have the Sheriff, which... Um, Sheriff has a very high wall penetration while this has a medium this has six bullets and it doesn't fire that fast right it's a kind of a, like a deagle in CSGO now um for gun rounds I wouldn't say this is that great it does um 55 to the body so this does like 30 this does the 55 so you have to hit twice but the thing is it shoots so damn slow now you have to be very precise with this gun um it does 160 to the head so let's say if they have armor in this case it's gonna one 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 hit them but in one cases are you guys actually gonna one tap enemies and the thing is you don't even have armor so if they start shooting at you it's over if you don't hear the first shot i'm sorry it's not gonna happen um, but what I really about like uh, Sheriff, it's very balanced. So for this example, um, I can, I, I hope I can shoot from here. So let me show you. I'm actually playing on lo low right now. So does it actually hit him? No? Okay, anyway. Um, you know what? Never mind. Um, the thing is about this gun, it's uh, very actually OP. Um, but only if you're a very good aimer. So let's say for example, I'm at 50 meters and the enemy is over there. Bam! That's 145. And that's a lot of damage. That's basically an insta-kill. But at what point is this situation going to happen without the enemy moving or shooting at you back with some kind of, a, you know, AK or something like that. So this still lost 145. Now the thing is, this gun close range isn't that actually good. Um, because let's say for example, you miss a shot or something like that. So I'm gonna try in here and you know do a couple of rounds. See see how my recoil goes off if I keep spraying and praying. Now let's take for example the ghost. We gotta clear this. Clear this shit. Um, let's say for example 30 meters. Um, and let's say look at how precise the ghost is versus how the deagle is precise. Okay, I'm not moving at all. I'm just spray tapping. Now let's look at the sheriff again. See it goes a bit far off. 
and that's the real issue I actually find with this weapon. Um, so it's an all right if you actually wanna wanna win in this example. Um, and in my personal recommendation, because you're asking me what would be the best, you know, gun starter round setup. So, for example, the classic, which isn't that great, but you can pick up, you know, a ghost or a sheriff or frenzy or anything like that. I don't think anyone would buy shorty from dead enemies. And you can also buy light shields. And for example, you can buy a trap wire. So, for example, you can place a trap wire, you know, here or over, over here or whatever. I don't know. I don't know where I can place it. Look at this. I can place it over... What the heck? I can place it over here and I can place, you know, everything around it and actually actually get this that secure bomb plant instead of just getting a sheriff and, and praying they don't kill me and getting the knockback because they're gonna be shooting at you right back and if you don't get a headshot instantly even if you get a body shot it's not gonna help that much so in my example I would recommend a classic with a shield and some abilities or a ghost with some abilities you know any abilities of your choice um, especially the cyber cage or anything smoke like that is pretty cheap and can help you sec secure that free bomb plan um, usually people it's early game right now so people don't actually want to push through smokes because they're pussies but I want to let you know your opinion down in comments below and this is Fatman sign out peace guys